Welcome back. What I was demonstrating for you was continuous swimming. This is the pinnacle of swimming. Once you've learned your strokes, put it all together, all that hard work and training goes into this. You just continuously swim. It's just like running on a treadmill for say like an hour. It takes a certain amount of skill, it takes a, a certain amount of experience, and it takes a certain amount of stamina in order to pull this off. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can do continuous swimming. If you apply these tips to your regimen, then you'll be swimming non-stop in no time. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, in order to do continuous swimming, you want to think of it like a jog, okay? No one wants to be sprinting on a treadmill for one hour. It's, it's practically impossible, okay? So when you see like mar marathon runners, they kind of like, they jog most of their, most of the way. And so should you when you're swimming. And the equivalent to jogging is breaststroke. When you do front crawl, when you do freestyle, when you do back crawl, when you do butterfly, they are in a totally different category and they require a lot more energy output and it requires a lot more stamina in order to keep that going for say like an hour. If you want to be doing like 100 laps continuously, you gotta think long term. Can you do butterfly for one hour continuously? Come on, be real. <laughs> no one can sprint for like an hour, okay? So you gotta think of continuous swimming like a jog, okay? It's like a marathon. Slow and steady wins the race. Breaststroke is very difficult to learn. If you want to learn how to do breaststroke, check out my swimming course, Seven Day Swim. If you do know how to do breaststroke, I suggest that you start brushing up on your technique and start going back and forth, okay? Develop that stamina. Breaststroke is like jogging, okay? So it doesn't require a lot of energy and there's a lot of pausing involved. So there's pausing when you glide. So it gives your body a break compared to like front crawl where your arms are continuously moving, your legs are continuously kicking. Same with butterfly, it requires just a lot of oomph in order to pull your body out of the water. So I don't recommend butterfly or front crawl, do the breaststroke. Second tip in order for you to do continuous swimming, in my personal opinion, is to have a lane all to yourself. As you can see, I'm the only one here in this pool and there's a reason why. It's about 1 a.m. right now where I'm filming this and doing my laps and I chose 1 a.m. for a reason. You can either swim very, very, very early in the morning, like 6 a.m., or you can swim very, 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 very late in the evening, like around midnight. And those two times are when the water is fresh and when it's not so crowded. Think of it like a highway. You don't want to be driving when it's rush hour, okay? Rush hour is usually between okay, 8 a.m. to like 10 a.m., right? And then the rush hour in the evening is like 3 p.m. to like 7 p.m. You don't want to be driving on the highway during those times. It's going to be crazy. There's too many people. Same with swimming. Your local swimming pool has certain times of the day when it's just too crowded. There's too many people in the pool. And it's just, you got to share lanes with other patrons. And I find that sharing lanes with other people, it just throws my game off. If I want to get focused, if I want to be in the zone, I need to have a lane all to myself in order to do this. You've got to find a time when there's no one in your lane. Check out your local pool schedule, ask the staff there when's a good time, when it's the most opportunistic to have a lane like this all to yourself. You want to have that lane all to yourself, so find that time. I live in a condo so I can have access to this pool 24 hours and I can swim really, really late in the evening and I take advantage of it. Third tip that I can give you in order to do continuous swimming is to take advantage of your turns. When you're turning or when you're pushing off the wall and gliding, that's your break. Think of it like this. When you're doing your actual breaststroke, you're doing the work. You're doing the work, you're stepping on the gas on your car. But when you push off the wall and you glide, that's like, you driving your car, letting go of the gas pedal and just taking advantage of your momentum. That's just you going down the hill with your car. You really want to take advantage of that momentum as you push off the wall. Every time I reach the wall, I take a very, very big breath, a deep breath, right here in the diaphragm. 
And I push as hard as I can because I want as much momentum as possible when I'm pushing off the wall because I want to be lazy and I want to just relax. And so should you. When you approach the wall like this, take a big breath, take a deeper breath than normal, anticipate the wall, grab it, and push as hard as you can going the other way and just use that momentum to your advantage. And if you want to learn how to do flip turns or pushing up the wall, I made a, another video recently. You can check the link out above or below and watch that video and start learning how to do your flip or turns, okay? The fourth tip that I can give you in order to do continuous swimming is to get the right attire. Get the proper attire. So some of you are thinking that, oh, I can just swim without a swim cap. I can swim without a getting some pretty good goggles for my face or I can swim wearing some board shorts or just normal trunks okay no okay you got to think long term when you're swimming continuously you've got to optimize what you're wearing okay so get a proper swim cap get some proper expensive goggles they are worth the price do not invest in cheap goggles they will wear out easily they will rip easily and they will fill up with water easily okay if you want some suggestions I've Put some links down below for you guys to check out of what I wear. And get the proper swimming suit. I used to wear baggy board shorts a long time ago. I didn't really care about it. But back then I was mostly teaching, so I wasn't really doing a lot of lap swimming. But now that I do lap swimming, when I try to get into that mode, I want to wear as very little as possible because when you're swimming for so long, clothes just get in the way, <laughs> okay? So if you're thinking you can wear a t-shirt on top, you can wear some baggy board shorts, it's, it's gonna get in the way, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. That drag is gonna bring you down. That's the reason why you see like Olympic swimmers or competitive swimmers, they wear those skinny little speedos. And yeah, it looks very embarrassing, but believe me, it works. When they do the, the kind of swimming that they do continuously for so long, their body heats up really fast. I feel it in my body. I, I, am, I feel like I'm sweating in a sauna when I'm just pushing it non-stop. And you're gonna, you're gonna feel it too. It's just like when you're, you're jogging on a treadmill for an hour or more, you're just drenched with sweat. You're soaking with sweat. And it's the same phenomenon when I'm doing my continuous swimming. It feels like I'm just sweating and I wanna take this swim cap off and I just want to get into an icier tub of water. <laughs> when you get in your zone and you're going like continuous non-stop, it's just, yeah, you need to find a way to cool off. And the only way you can is to wear as little as possible, okay? So if you want to know what kind of swim, swimming speedo that I recommend, I put a link down below as well for you to check out. And my final tip that I want to give to you if you want to do continuous swimming is to just have fun. Nobody's perfect, okay? I'm not perfect. I don't always do the perfect breaststroke form every time. I don't do the perfect flip turn every time. I don't, you know, keep the water out of my nose or mouth all the time. Sometimes I snort water by accident. I drink water by accident. We're all human, okay? Nobody's perfect. So stop trying to compare yourself to Olympic swimmers and competitive swimmers. Just do the work. And if you can't get 100 laps in your first try, just set the bar lower. Everybody has to start with one lap. I started with one lap. That was my goal a long time ago, many, many years ago, was to swim from there to there nonstop. That was my first goal. Second goal was to go from there to there and then all the way back. So that's two laps, then three laps, then four laps, then five. And then eventually you learn how to ride that bike continuously and you can just bike forever. Then the same thing goes with swimming. You can swim forever. If you are applying these tips that I'm giving you, you will be going forever and ever. I can swim this pool for hours and not get tired. If I'm doing breaststroke, if I'm optimizing my flip turns, if I'm wearing as very little attire as possible, and if I'm just going with the flow, being in the zone and having fun, I can just go on forever and ever and ever and ever. And so can you, okay? And when you reach that point, you're gonna say to yourself, Jesus Christ, I should have done this a long time ago. I should have stopped running on that hard pavement and just giving myself shin splints and just 
destroying my knee cartilage or I should have stopped playing basketball so long ago or MMA, all those sports because in the end, the final sport that everybody does when they reach a very old age in life is swimming. It's the first thing that you are born in. You're born in a pool of water in your mother's womb and you're swimming like an old man at the end of, near the end of your life, lifespan, okay? So swimming is the first and final sport that you will ever perform, okay? So you might as well start learning it now and doing it now. You can join our private Facebook group that I have set up where you can ask questions to me or you can just film your swimming and ask for feedback and I can give it to you. Click the link below, it's private and I'll see you in there. And if you need to learn how to swim, you don't know where to start, I have a swimming course online, totally affordable, called 7dayswim.co. All right, so take care, I'll see you later, bye.